Hey guys, welcome once again to Traders Motivation and today I'm going to discuss how to use, how to apply and use the RSI indicator on the OANDA FX Trade platform. Now in front of us we've got the Euro Swiss Franc 4 hour chart uh, and we're going to apply the RSI indicator and we do that by finding an area on the chart, not by clicking on the candles but a, a, an area with nothing in it. We right click and we go to add study. That brings up this box in the middle of the chart. And then to select the RSI indicator, we select it from this drop down list at the side of Add Study. So we click there, that gives us a list of indicators that are accessible on the uh, platform charts. And we're wanting to select the RSI. So we click on RSI. That gives us a chance to alter the variables of that particular indicator. But for now, we're going to leave it as, as its default. And to apply the indicator, we press Add. And that brings it up there for us uh, underneath the charts um, for us to have a look at. So the RSI indicator gives us an indication as to when price is overbought or oversold based on mathematical inputs in the uh, in the setting. So for now we've got it set to show us when price goes above the 70 and price goes below the 30. And when price goes below the 30 or above the 70, it shades the bit of the chart so we know when to look at price or it gives us confluence to be used in other trading analysis. Now, I wouldn't advise using the RSI indicator as a, as a way to enter trades it's because as you can see here, the RSI indicator signaled that price was oversold. So that should tell us that we're going to be looking for a buy. However, this corresponds to the exact part of the chart above it. So if we just go straight up here, we can see that price came down, which caused this indicator to show us that it was oversold, but it didn't really shoot back up and come back up to a an air, to a level that would have been advantageous to take it based on the oversold uh, criteria. So then price came up, it came back down, oversold here, because the part of the indicator is shaded, and that did actually give us an indicator, indication that price was likely to go up. Here again over here, it's showing us that it was overbought. Price was overbought at this particular level here, and price came back down. So one time it didn't work, twice it did work. If we go back in the charts, we can see the oversold, overbought area there, that where the part of the chart is shaded, corresponds to this section here. Price came back down. Um, so yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on the kind of criteria that you're looking for. I wouldn't advise to use it as a, as a trading um, strategy in itself, just waiting for overbought and oversold conditions because it doesn't particularly apply across different time frames. Showing oversold on a four-hour time frame may be uh, price might be just consolidating in the middle on the, on the one-day time frame. So you're looking for something that's highly likely to, to not happen. So... You need to take RSI as part, you can use RSI as part of your trading strategy, but not just as a trading strategy. Don't place your trades based off just what the RSI is telling you because it's not 100% accurate. Okay, so that's the RSI. If we wanted to get rid of the RSI indicator off the Oanda FX Trade platform charts, we right click inside the indicator area and we click remove RSI and that takes it away and we're left with the candlestick chart in front of us. If we wanted to alter the settings of the RSI indicator, again we go to Add Study, select the RSI, and then that allows us to change the settings. If you wanted to look for more extreme overbought conditions and oversold conditions, you just make the 70 into an 80 and the 30 into a 20, which expands the lines from the from the median. So as you can see here, this lower oversold level has dropped and this overbought level has gone a bit higher. So it's just expanded the RSI so that if the RSI indicator does go above a level, you know it's more of an extreme situation of overbought as opposed to leaving it to the 70, if that makes sense. If anybody's got any questions about this, please leave them in comments and I'm happy to go through it again or explain it in a bit more detail. But you can, you can make it more accurate by changing the settings. But as you can see, it's not really been in any sort of oversold or extreme overbought conditions for quite a while. And that's represented in the candlestick chart anyway, in the fact that it's consolidating 
as it's moving down. There's no big moves up or big moves down apart from this area here where it was oversold and it came down and it made a little bit of a nice sell-off. But as you can see up here where price went really, really high and then came back down, this is the section of the RSI indicator that that's showing that and it's not showing oversold, uh, overbought conditions at all. So you can miss out on a lot of opportunities just using the RSI indicator. So I hope that's given you a bit of an indication as to what the RSI indicator is, what it shows us, uh, how you can alter the settings, how you can apply it on the charts. Again, just to confirm, I wouldn't advise using the RSI indicator by itself. I would use it as part of an overall trading strategy. For example, is price in a hitting resistance? Is it overbought? Take a sell trade. Is price hitting support and in an over, oversold condition? Buy trade. I hope that gives you something to think about, guys. If you've got any further questions about this or any of my other videos, please leave me a comment. Please subscribe because I'll be going into more information about different indicators that you can use on the Oanda FX Trade platform. Um, I'll be looking at Bollinger Bands. Uh, we'll have a look at MACD. Um, then we'll go into what they show us and how we can incorporate them, incorporate them into training strategies. So I hope you have a great day, guys. I hope that was useful, and I will catch you all soon. Bye for now.